Okay, Laura, could, what, can you tell me your name and, uh, and what do you do for, with SAS? My name is Laura Delwich. Um, with SAS, I, I have a couple hats that I wear. Uh, I work at the University of California, Davis. Um, I'm a SAS programmer. I do research um, involving autism, and we're looking at uh, causes of autism. We have a few studies going there. And then my other hat I wear is um, I write books about SAS. I've written two books with my co-author, Susan Slaughter, and um, those each books have several editions going on. So. What are the names of those books? I, there's the little SAS book, uh, A Primer, which is um, basically like a code-based uh, version of our book, and then we have the little SAS book for Enterprise Guide. And Great. Which one is the most popular book? Well, uh, the original book, the, the primer, the uh, programming-based one, is sold as copies. Uh, it, but it's been around for a while. Well, it's been around since 1997. Wow. What, uh, so what are some of the things you're so doing at the conference this year? At this conference, um, Susan and I are because presenting, uh, we're doing a SAS Essentials paper, out. which is so on so debugging they, writing it out um, SAS code. Well, are they writing it's it a very out basic paper. The SAS Essentials section is for people who are just learning SAS. We're doing that, and then the other thing we're doing is a hands-on workshop uh, on like, uh, a new procedure I, I'm going to uh, SG a plot, which is new in SAS 9.2. Oh, wow. It's a, new, it's a whole new way of really you know, creating graphs yeah, exactly. using SAS. You really is that using uh, ODS and Proc template at all, or is that a different um, engine? It's, it's ODS-based, but you don't use Proc template code. It, there is Proc template code, but you don't have to oh. know any Proc template code. It's a very simple statement, and you get uh, your results in your standard output format, formats like PDF. HTML. Are there GUI tools on EG that generates the code, or do you just programmatically script it? The SGPod is not a part of Enterprise Go, so it's just code based. Great. Do I sell? If you had to Tools. give advice to a beginner programmer to debug, uh, what would be one uh, example trick? Um, what, we, what we say is the first rule of debugging is to look at your SAS log. And then also to start at the beginning of your SAS log. Because a lot of times it's easy to get distracted about what you see at the end of your log, because that's what you see. Um, but if you start at the beginning of your SAS log, you can usually you, know, you can find yeah, some mistakes that you make kind of cascade and generate other things. So what you see at the end of your log is sometimes misleading as to what the actual problem is. Read your SAS log, SAS log and then start at the beginning. So. Great. So when was the first time or how long have you been uh, working with SAS? See, I started with SAS in 1981. Okay. It's kind of a long time. <laughs> And uh, what oh, do yes, you to SAS, or what about uh, exactly the right. technology that interests you? I enjoy doing basic well, SAS programming, time, data stack programming. It's really the thing that I enjoy doing most. You know, solving problems with SAS. It's like having a big puzzle that you try to put together. You know what I do? Sit over there? So that's, that's what I enjoy. Oh, great. Thanks a lot.